Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would like to express in the strongest words possible that I support the police, and we should be supporting the police here in our nation's capital because it's our nation's capital that has one of the highest murder rates in our country, one of the worst crime records in our nation's history, and is an absolute embarrassment to our country. I'd also like to remind everyone that one of our own colleagues was carjacked months ago here in Washington, D.C. We also just had a former Trump admin official die because he was shot here in our nation's capital. And many Hill staffers themselves have been attacked just walking the city streets. This is an ongoing crime epidemic here in our nation's capital, and it's appalling. We should be supporting police officers, not attacking Americans' gun rights, while all of us walk around under the protection of good guys with guns. Capitol Police carry those AR-15s and guard all of us, but yet Democrats would love to take away the gun rights of American citizens and blame guns that never get up by themselves and shoot people. Murder is already a crime. People kill people, and they don't just kill them with guns. They kill them with knives. They kill them with fists. They kill them with objects. They strangle them. But yet I just listened to one of my colleagues say that we need to disarm Americans in order to somehow stop crime in Washington, D.C. We should will, will be protecting. Yield? No, I will not. We should be protecting and supporting police officers. I also heard President Trump come under attack once again because Democrats have nothing else to say to defend their own policies but attack President Trump. I'd like to remind everyone that it was Antifa BLM, by the way, supported by Democrats. BLM as an organization raised millions and millions of dollars on Act Blue, the Democrat fundraising site. And then BLM riots across America that were endorsed heavily by Democrats and apologized and, and said mostly peaceful protests by media who, who are totally uh, defending Democrats constantly. Th these riots caused $2 billion in damage across America. I'd also like to remind everyone that in 2017 when President Trump was inaugurated, that rioters nearly burned down Washington, D.C. That's right, nearly burned down the city here. But oh, we've got to attack President Trump every single day. You know, it was also Democrats that said things like, I don't know why there aren't uprisings everywhere. That was our former Speaker of the House. Our current Vice President, before the election of 2020, said, we will not stop. We won't stop talking about these BLM riots. Also, one of our Democrat colleagues is on video, by the way, all of this is on video, their statements, and she was talking about Trump supporters, and she said, when you see them, you make a, make a crowd, surround them wherever they are. These are the statements that come from our Democrat colleagues, but they want to attack President Trump every single day and take away police officers' ability to stop criminals and arrest criminals and protect our city streets, our community streets, and our nation's capital. And I'm sick and tired of it. It is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, Mr. Chairman, I would like to say I support the amendment that you just spoke on and introduced. And I would urge my colleagues to pay attention very carefully. The American people are paying attention. And they're not stupid. Just because you have a little microphone you can talk in doesn't mean that you can sit here and lie to the American people every single day. They can read the crime statistics. We all know you can't walk around this city without being in danger of being robbed or carjacked or, or murdered maybe. My goodness, how horrible is that? So let's support our police officers. Let's vote for good things to help citizens in this city. And Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Will, will the gentleman yield for a question? No, I will not yield to one of your stupid questions that are always attacking me and attacking President Trump.
How okay. about a mediocre question? No, I don't question? want to. I do not want an excellent question? question. No, a smart question. No, my time, an intelligent my, question. You have no smart or intelligent questions. <laughs> <laughs> Chair now recognizes Mr. Garcia for five minutes. Thank you. That was.